All right. Okay. We have this guy set up and you're like, how does this even work? Well, our first step with just numbers was we were asking how many times does 15 go into 17? We're going to start the exact same way here. Look at K, just our first term, K. I have 1K there. How do I go from 1K to 3Ks? Whoops, that should be a 3. How do I go from 1K to 3Ks? How many more Ks do I need? How many, Braden? How do I go from 1 to 3? How many more Ks do I need? Two. Two, okay. So I need K squared to get me to that K cubed. Okay, watch this. Now we're gonna take that k squared. We gotta multiply it to both of these guys. Well, k squared times k gives me the k cubed I'm looking for. That was the whole goal, have a match up. What is k squared times negative three? Don't overthink it. k squared times negative three. Negative three k squared. Yep, you got it. Okay, all right. What was our next step with long division? Think back to just the numbers. What did we do with this step now? What happened here? What are we doing? Subtracting. We're subtracting, okay? So we're gonna subtract this whole piece, just as if it were a number. Alrighty, so k cubed minus k cubed. Guess what? That's where they cancel out. Not dealing with k cubes anymore. Thank goodness. Wait a second. What happens when I subtract a negative? I have a double negative. It turns into a positive. positive. Mm -hmm. So now tell me, what is negative 6 k squared plus 3 k squared? Negative 6 plus 3. I'm at negative six, I'm adding three. It's 2114, for the goodness <laughs> sakes. This is your fourth year of being in this class. <laughs> negative three. Thank you. <laughs> my word. That's gonna be on my video now. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Wait, what was our next step? Go back to where we were just dealing with numbers. What did we do with the four? We brought it down, okay? We gotta do the same thing here. See how they're following the same rules? Just bring down that next little piece, which is negative K. And guess what? We're just repeating this process, okay? Next step. Again, we're looking back at our first little K. I need to go from 1K to negative 3K squared. What does it need on it? What does this k need on it to turn into negative 3k squared? Needs a negative 3, right? I have 1k, I need 2. How many more do I need? Just 1. That turns into negative 3k. I just needed the negative 3 and the 1k. Okay, let's multiply. Negative 3k times that k. Gives me that negative 3k squared I'm looking for, right? We want them to match up. What is negative 3k times negative 3? Negative 3 times negative 3? Positive 9. Uh-huh. Positive 9k. What was our next step? Down. Not quite. What we got to do before that? Minus. Uh-huh. Got to subtract. Double negative turns into a positive, which these guys cancel out. Love it. Goodbye, k squareds. But then my positive, subtracting a positive, makes it negative. What is negative 1 minus 9 more? Negative 1 minus 9 more. If I owe you a dollar and then I owe you nine more dollars, how much do I owe you? Ninety. How many, Eli? Dollars. Not quite nine plus one? Negative 
Negative 10. So we get negative 10K for this spot. Okay, Brayden, now what do we need to do? Mm hmm. All right. Same step. Same, same steps. We got to go from 1K to negative 10K. What does that K need on it to turn into a negative 10K? Well, what do I need to add to this K to make it look like negative 10K? What does it need on it? The negative... The negative... The negative 10. You got it. We would just need the negative 10. It already has the K. Doesn't need any more. So just negative 10 up there. Now we multiply. Negative 10 times K gives me my negative 10K, which we wanted to match up. What about negative 10 times negative 3? Negative times a negative here. Negative 40. Ooh, it's going to be positive. What's 10 times 3? 30. 30. So we have positive 30. What do we need to do with this guy? What was our next step? Uh huh. Okay, well, double negative turns to a positive, which cancels those guys out. Positive turns to a negative, or subtract 30. What is 25 minus 30? Five. Positive 5? Yep. Well, negative 5. Mm hmm. Right. Is there anything else I need to bring down? No. So, what is my remainder? Uh-huh. And what was my actual answer? That ugly polynomial, right? When we're just dealing with numbers, we got a number for an answer. When we're dealing with polynomials, we got a polynomial for an answer. Okay. How many of you guys, raise your hand, want to do that again? So there's these really smart math people, and they're like, wow, that's annoying. That is a long process. I do not want to do that again. What if I told you there was a way easier way? You want to do that way? Yes. Yes, let's do it. Okay, we're going to skip number three. Ooh, what do our directions say? Use what? Synthetic. What does the word synthetic mean? You guys know? Fake. It means fake. It literally means fake division. Use fake division. It's almost like the shortcut way to divide these guys. And guess what? We can do that. We're going to use fake division. Bless the man who came up with fake division. Okay, so here's our first step. In fact, let's write down our steps right here. One. Change the sign on this guy. Okay, just this guy. So instead of a negative 2, what's this guy going to change to? A positive 2. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Write your positive 2. Then you're going to give yourself a division sign, but don't be scared. This guy's way nicer, I promise you. We have a positive 2 on the outside because he changed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in these spaces with just the coefficients that we see here. Just the coefficients. What is the coefficient, meaning the number in front of k cubed? One. Okay, nice. One. What's the coefficient here? Two. Seven. Positive seven? Negative seven. Negative seven. Coefficient here? Twenty. Twenty. And our last number here? Sixteen. Positive? Negative. Negative. Notice, are we dealing with k's anymore, the variables? Nope, we're not dealing with the variables anymore. We're just dealing with the coefficients. So first thing we had to do was change the sign. Then our second step, let's write it down. And that's okay that we're going into number five space. Use coefficients, just the numbers in front. Do not write down their variables with them, just the coefficients.
Okay, let's see how this works. There's a pattern to this division. First thing you're gonna wanna do, give yourself some space under these numbers, but then draw a line. Okay, so you're giving yourself some space and you're drawing a line here. First step, bring down whatever this first number is. In this case, it's a one. Okay, okay, not too bad yet. Now what we do, we're gonna take two times that number. What is two times one? Two. Two, that answer goes right here. Okay, okay. Now we're going to add straight down or just combine these guys. What is negative 7 plus 2? Not quite. Negative 7, add 2. We're getting closer to the positives. Negative 5. Yeah. Mm hmm. Negative 5. Okay, my negative 5 goes there. Repeat the step. Two times negative five. What's gonna go in my next space? Two times negative five? Ten. Negative ten. Mm-hmm. Combine these guys straight down. So this time it's positive 20 minus 10. What is 20 minus 10? positive 10. Same step. Thank you, thank you. 2 times 10. What's going to go in this spot? 2 times 10? 20. 20. And combine these guys straight down. What is negative 16 plus 20? Positive 20. Negative 16 plus 20. Ooh, super close. Think 20 minus 16. Oh. Four. Four. Okay, now here's the thing. This guy right here, our last spot. That's our remainder. Whatever number you get in that last spot, it's our remainder. But now you're like, wait, Ms. Campbell, in our last answer for number two, we had it a polynomial, right? We had our variables in there. So here's the thing. We got to put our variables back. Okay, so we started with k cubed. When you put your variables back, just drop a power and go down the line. This is going to be 1 k squared minus 5 with 1 k plus 10, no k's. And 4 is my remainder. There's my answer. Or in your assignment, it could be called the quotient. And there's my remainder. So synthetic, you're still doing the same thing. You're dividing these guys. But was that a little bit quicker than long division? Let's try it again. I know this is brand new. So let's turn your paper over. Let's try it a couple more times. Our first step, go back to that first step. We have to change this sign. So this positive 5 turns into a what? Mm -hmm. Negative 5 goes on my outside. Okay, then what goes on the inside? Just the coefficients. What's the coefficient on x cubed? Mm -hmm. Coefficient on x squared? Mm -hmm. Coefficient on x? Mm -hmm. And my last number? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. You'll get faster at this, I promise. Give yourself some space, draw your line. Okay, what do we do with this one? 
Look back on, look back on number four. What did we do with that first guy? We just dropped him, right? Goes down. And now we follow the pattern. Negative five times one. What's gonna go in this space right here? Positive five? Negative five. Combine, what is 14, positive 14 minus five? Mm -hmm. Positive nine. Repeat the step. Negative five times nine, what's gonna go in this spot? Negative 45. Okay, combine straight down what is 40 minus 45. Positive. Mm -hmm. Repeat the step. Negative 5 times negative 5. What's going to go in my next spot? Positive 25. Positive 25. And then combine straight down. What is negative 20 plus 25? Or think, what is it, Jameson? Five. Five. So what's our remainder? Five. Five. We have a remainder of five. Now we got to put those X's back on, right? Started with X cubed. So all I got to do is just drop a power. First guy's now X squared. Positive 9 with 1x and minus 5. There's our quotient. There's our remainder. Let's try it two more times. Are we starting to see how the pattern works? Show me a fist of 5 and be honest. If you're like a 2 or a 1, be honest. Five, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to see the pattern. Ooh, that's better than I was thinking. Okay, let's try it again. Number seven. I'm hoping one of these guys works out so we don't have any remainders, but we'll see. First step, change the sign on this guy. Changes from a negative five to what? Uh-huh. So positive five's on the outside. Now I'm just using my coefficients. What's my coefficient on m cubed? One. Next coefficient. Mm -hmm. Next coefficient. Seven. Seven. And my last number. Thirty-two. Give yourself some space. Draw your line. What do we do with that one? Our first number there. Drop him. Now it's all a bunch of multiplying and adding and subtracting. Okay, so we're going to take 5 multiplied to 1 to give me my number in this space. What's 5 times 1? 5. Then we're combining these guys, adding or subtracting. What is negative 8 plus 5? Because it's positive 5. Negative 8 plus 5. Very good. Negative 3. What is positive 5? Repeat the step. Times negative 3. What's going to go in my next spot? 5 times negative 3. Negative 15. Mm -hmm. negative 15. Combine straight down. 7 minus 15. You're, again, we're taking away more than we have. 7 minus 15. <coughs> what is it? Not quite. Negative. Seven. Let me make sure that's right. Yeah. Negative what? Five. Not quite. Negative. Eight. Thank you. Negative eight. Last step. Repeat it. Five times negative eight. It's going to go right here. What goes in my next spot? Five times negative eight. Thank you. Man, you guys are just like pulling teeth today. You know these answers. 
32 minus 40 is going to give me my remainder. What is 32 minus 40? Y, negative something. Negative eight. Negative eight. Okay, so there's our remainder. Our last number is the remainder. Now we got to put our variables back on these guys. Started with m cubed, right? Now we just put them back, but with a power lower. So m squared minus 3m to the first minus 8. And there we go. Okay. Last time I'll ask. Show me a fist of five. How are we feeling on synthetic division? I'm not going to make you do long division. That was purely just to show you that this is how you do it, and then there's an easier way. Okay.